China's largest ambition is to usurp United States hegemony, especially in the field of space exploration. However, their opponent is not trivial when America was the first country to send astronauts to the moon in the 20th century space race. Especially with the emergence of the new monopolist in the aerospace field, SpaceX, the possibility of the United States winning again in this century is very high. Therefore, as a latecomer, the best way that China can think of to surpass its competitor is to copy the technology of SpaceX. To be honest, this approach seems to work as recently, they continued to show off to the world a new successful knockoff clone of SpaceX Starship. Find out everything about this in today's episode of Tech Map. The United States has always been proud of its long-standing title of American Dream, a place where entrepreneurial dreams are nurtured. Even in rocketry, which has not been very open to commercialization, virtually all private aerospace companies have decades of history. Most notable is SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk in 2002. Considered a monopoly in the global aerospace field, SpaceX has been shaking the world. In 2023 alone, the company delivered roughly 80% of all Earth payload mass to orbit in 2023. China is about 10% and the rest of the world other nearly 10%. The company's Starship rocket is still the largest and most powerful rocket ever built. By contrast, Chinese companies are quite new. It was not until 2014 that China opened its aerospace sector to commercial and private activity. Previously, all Chinese aerospace activities were still undertaken by government organizations. However, this does not mean that we are allowed to rest on our laurels. China, although slower, has recently stood out with significant achievements. You should forget or should not forget that land space, the Beijing-based startup, put the world's first methane rocket, Zook-2, into orbit last year. Fast forward to January 19 of this year and they continue to get the new mark. Landspace has completed a hop test in which a rocket shoots up, moves sideways, and lands in the latest step towards the launch of its Zook-3 reusable stainless steel rocket. The test rocket lifted off from the Juquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert of northern China at 4 p.m. reaching an altitude of 350 meters, 1,148 feet during the 60-second vertical takeoff and vertical landing, according to the company. It touched down in a designated area some 100 meters from the launch pad, with a landing accuracy of 2.4 meters and a landing speed of 0.75 meters per second. The rocket landed smoothly and accurately and remained in good condition. The flight was a complete success, the company announced. The 18.3 meter long, 3.4 meter wide test rocket was not only the largest of its kind in China, but also the world's first stainless steel vertical landing rocket. Zook-3 is targeted for the 2025 maiden flight. Of course, there won't be much to discuss until we know that Zook, as well as many other Chinese-made rockets, are just imitations of American technology, of which Elon Musk's SpaceX is one of the most copied companies. Landspace copied the SpaceX rocket in terms of vertical landing method, liquid oxygen methane rocket technology, reusable features, and using stainless steel material to develop Zookway. Zook-3 trial rocket is powered by an improved 80-ton Tianquay 12 Methalox engine, which has undergone tests on the ground for more than 100,000 seconds. Methalox is a type of rocket propellant made from a mixture of liquid oxygen and methane and SpaceX's Raptor engine is the first one using this type of fuel. The engine will be used in both the following Zook-2 and the upcoming Zook-3 rockets. The liftoff weight for the test was more than 50 tonnes, and it could reach 68 tonnes in the subsequent tests. The trial rocket's landing legs were proven to be able to support 40 tonnes of landing weight. This verification has laid a solid foundation for the following tests, both on land and at sea, according to its developer. Next, before going any further, if you found this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. Obviously, as part of the pro-copying policy encouraged by the Beijing government, Landspace is not the first and only Chinese company imitating SpaceX's technology. On November 2, 2023, the eight-year-old company of space successfully launched a hop test with the Hyperbola 2 test vehicle at Juquan Satellite Launch Center. Like SpaceX's rocket, the small Hyperbola 2 rocket features vertical landing, reuse, and the design of four landing legs. 
Not only that, Hyperbola learned to use methane and liquid oxygen fuel instead of solid fuel like previous prototypes from SpaceX's Starship. The company's next-generation rocket, Hyperbola 3, is also not exceptional. Being expected to reach orbit in 2025 and be launched up to 25 times per year by 2030, Hyperbola 3 has the same height as Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy with 70 meters. In addition, another version of Hyperbola 3, Hyperbola 3B, will also share the same payload compartment design that is similar to that of the Falcon Heavy, which can carry up to 15 tons of payload to LEO. Another example is the Space Epic company whose rocket has an exterior design made of stainless steel that looks similar to SpaceX's Starship and also uses a mixture of liquid oxygen and liquid methane, or a suborbital launch vehicle similar to Blue Origin's New Shepard developed by CAS Space. CASA's capsule called ZK has an exterior design extremely similar to SpaceX's Dragon capsule. Clearly, China has been succeeding in its own way. Evidently, not only landscape, but also other startups like CAS Space, Galactic Energy, Space, and Space Pioneer have launched their vehicles into orbit. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Starship, America's Hope, remains under development, but its progress is snowballing. This motivated China to set an ambitious goal to send two rockets to the moon by 2030, one carrying the spacecraft that will land on the surface and the other transporting the astronauts. NASA is postponing the next two Artemis missions, including the first crewed landing on the Moon or Artemis 3 from late 2025 to no earlier than September 2026. Artemis 2, the first crewed mission that will send four astronauts around the Moon, had been pushed back from the end of 2024 to no earlier than September 2025. This means the gap between the United States and China in the space race is increasingly narrowing, so, should we be wary of Chinese copycat technology? To some extent, we should. Multiple times, the United States Department of Justice prosecuted the Chinese spies for intentionally stealing aviation technology from United States companies. This shows how serious and complicated the situation is. But Elon Musk doesn't seem too worried. SpaceX's principle is to always be open about how they do things. We can see their ships being built on a daily basis on X and YouTube. Everybody is studying their techniques and they explain their concepts quite openly. Of course, China will see what works and streamline many experimental stages and costs, if possible. Until China actually uses a copyrighted and patented product, then it's only suspicious. Secondly, it does no doubt that Elon likes competition, which explains why he comfortably welcomes the media. That keeps him on his toes and liking a hit. To be honest, the space race was and is a healthy competition that will get us to where we want to be quickly. It's how NASA got where they were. We competed against Russia and started off behind them for the first few years. We were amazed at Russian progress and also motivated to exceed their progress. The only thing that is holding us back is the government interference. If that is removed, it's on. Here we go again, buckle up and watch the progress come out of healthy competition, it will be exciting. Motivation is a key component of progress and success. Last but not least, by definition, if you copy, you can never lead. The only way a copier can overtake a leader is by having lower costs. But most of SpaceX's focus has been on costs, so they will be hard to overcome. If the United States government bureaucracy is a pain, China has governmental problems too. And don't underestimate the value of actual experience. Chinese companies have a long way to go to catch up to where SpaceX is right now, and SpaceX's experience will grow at the same time. While the Chinese company wants to launch 25 times per year in 2030, SpaceX could be launching several per day by then. So, it can be said that China is not a real threat for a long time to come. How about you? Do you think China with its imitation is actually a threat to the United States? Let me know in the comment below. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.